Is Japan suffering from too much tourism, and are these foreigners just acting way too bad? Japan has seen record-breaking surge in foreign visitors, but we don't know how we feel about it. Let's take a look at the clip, Andrew. Apparently, people are acting un-Japanese in Japan. Areas like Gion and Sanenzaka in Kyoto have become so popular and crowded, and it's led to issues such as littering, destruction of sacred sites. Oh, Andrew! Whoa, the, litter, the littering, I'll tell you this. It's true that native Japanese would not litter. You mean to say that non-Japanese people are not behaving Japanese? But by the way, guys, I do not want to just point out gaijins or like white foreigners. It's actually a lot of Chinese foreigners, David, that are also pissing off people in Japan. Well, so they, we said, got, they we got said a, Russian, Korean as well. But yeah, I would say Chinese make up the largest volume. India too. Okay, all right. So everybody's got some dirt on them. All different types of foreigners. Indian, Korean, Russian, Chinese, and other white American or Western people. Specifically, they said American TikTokers. Oh, oh, American TikTokers. And also people like that, those streamers that like to cause trouble in Japan, as we know. Anyway, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, check out Smile Sauce at SmileLastSauce.com. And or some of the older Japanese are saying, it is affecting my daily life. To deal with so many foreigners is quite challenging. I'll say this, man. The yen is very weak right now. So basically, a lot of people who previously found Japan or, or visiting Tokyo unaffordable, it's affordable because it's weak against the dollar. But, but, David, are you trying to say that the people who want to go to Japan just for the pricing aspect might not also be the same people who want to behave correctly? Like, I didn't notice those problems when we went to Japan when it was super expensive, I'm just saying, though, I think it has to do more to do with the volume of people. Right, right. I do think that people want to go there to see the perfect Eastern civilization as, quote, Western cities crumble into Armageddon or Mad Max mm. land. I, no, so you're saying all these people from these crumbling societies want to go visit Japan, which is, I guess, crumbling in its own way, but still a lot better off. It's a different type of crumble. Right, right, right. People are spending less on fashion and nightlife, potentially a lot more on travel and wanderlust. Mm -hmm. That is just a consumption pattern of discretionary income. The Japanese are, quote, unquote, Andrew, according to some polls, tired of dealing with it, but they're still polite because that's their culture, and they have no choice due to the economic benefits of foreign capital inflows that tourism brings. So all this talk about, oh, Japan needs tourism, Japan needs money, oh, Japan needs a higher birth rate, we need to let in more good immigrants to Japan so that they can procreate and create the next generation of Japan, even if it's slightly mixed blood. Do, do you think those still stand? Do you think Japan is still like, we are doing this uh, tourism as a test to see if we wanted all these different types of people. So we will choose choose the best tourists and ask them to stay. I think it's certainly testing, especially the older generation's very thin patience. Mm. They, yeah, they don't really have a choice. I will say this, Andrew, specifically the TikToker streamer culture, it almost goes against everything that is Japanese. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like people in Japan, they're not even supposed to talk on the bus or talk on the train. You're supposed to use earbuds and be very quiet. Like, you can't even have your phone have the clicking sound. Well, David, how much of this was Japan's fault? We'll talk about it. Yeah, let's get into the comments section. Somebody said, well, why did they make Japan so great for tourism? And so it's like this fantasy Pokemon robot land if they didn't want people to come. Okay, Yeah. Fair. Well, it's fair. Somebody said, it's only a matter of time until Japan starts putting restrictions on tourism. Sometimes Westerners don't even know how to act. And somebody said, well, they make all the cameras and now they're tired of people taking photos with their Sony cameras. That's hypocrisy. That's actually funny. We got to get into the honest thing. Some people are blaming it on the Chinese because they're saying that the Chinese are the most ill-mannered people on earth that have a lot of money. I don't know if they're the most ill-mannered, but I'd say as far as like tourists that maybe are like not that are near not, Japan. That are not aggressive and violent. They are, Chinese tourists have been known to be kind of annoying. Yeah. And like a nuisance, but not like terrible people. Just like, you know, like spit on the ground a little bit. Yeah, no, I could see it. I could see it. I'm not saying all, but I could see it. Apparently, some people were like take, trying to ask the geishas in Kyoto to take too many photos to the point where they had to start like blocking off some streets to just keep it in the main tourism area. Somebody said, this guy, Japanese guy said, this is bad. If you come here, please just don't destroy our culture or trash our streets. I mean, I think that's a fair ask. I guess how much better of a job could the Japanese Tourism Bureau or government do of preparing people of how to act Japanese? Because they're saying in Singapore, there's really 
strict laws to keep people in line. People do not want to get in trouble with the law. In Japan, it's really more unspoken etiquette. Yeah, I do think that there needs to be more pamphlets and more instructions in like every hotel room. Someone's given like a little piece of paper. Hey, things to remember in your stay in Kyoto or things to remember when you're in Tokyo. People generally like to not talk on the subway. I'm sure, I don't know if that's against the law to not talk on the subway. It's just general culture to not. And or nobody talks on the subway. Somebody's just taking their shirt off doing TikToks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess my question is, is like, man, if Japan wasn't economically in this situation, if they didn't have such a negative birth rate, if they, people within their own country wanted to procreate and build more families and build the next generation of Japan, then you wouldn't need tourism as much. Like think of the you places- You would still want it, but you wouldn't need yeah. to rely on it. But I will say this, a lot of tourists, they go to Japan thinking that Japan is this serene, clean, super peaceful no, land. It's, it's like they're every where, PlayStation like dreamland. Yeah, but they get to go be the crazy taxi, you know, in this land and go do whatever they want. And you mean put on the Mario yeah. costume and swerve in the go-kart and the Shinjuku? There's something about people who they like to disturb things that are peaceful. It's like, you know, you ever seen like that serene like pond where there's like no ripples and then, full of ducks. Yeah, and then you're just like, oh, I just want to splash my feet in there. It's very Western. Yeah. Um, somebody said the problem with Japan is that it's failed to de develop tourism outside of Tokyo and Kyoto. So it's not really the volume of tourists. It's that all the tourists literally go to the same 10 places in the entire country at the same time. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. Osaka could be lit. This guy said, I'm a Japanese guy. In my opinion, Japanese society city systems are only based on Japanese behavior. There are no trash bins in the city. Many roads are not separated by footpaths. If we are going to accept all the foreigners in, we have to build new systems to understand their human behavior is not the same as ours. Mm. I think ultimately it's this, man. The Japanese, they're in this really difficult situation, but like you said, it is what it is. They got to adapt at least halfway. Meet people halfway. You can't only have the trash cans being Lawson's or 7-Eleven, right? You might need to start putting trash cans, like not a lot of trash cans, but how about some trash cans for people who come from countries who don't know how to keep their garbage with them? Mm. And that's just the name of the game right now, guys. You can't have everything in life. The world is changing. You got to make the necessary reads and adaptations as much as you possibly can. It can't be zero compromise. We're just in a situation where zero compromise it's not going to get it done. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think. Is there over tourism in Japan? Are they sick of it? Let us know in the comment section below. And also, are you planning on going to Japan soon? Act right. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace.